A lady, Sandra Ezekwisili, tweeted about wanting her mother to remarry after she questioned why boys and men are more likely to be hostile to the idea of their mothers dating or remarrying after their father's death. So the question is, why is it easier for our fathers to remarry? And then our mothers find it difficult to move on with their lives. In many cases, men are unable to live by themselves without the woman. Who said that? Because they tend to, many of them tend to die a few years after. Right. So because people have realized that, ah, this is my uncle, after the wife died, a few months after, or a few years after, he, followed. he also died. Or somebody, and, and they, th those stories happen a lot. Somebody, one of my friends just lost her father-in-law, and we're like, ah, that the man would have survived though. It was just that, you know, because his wife is no longer here, the man couldn't cope. So, especially for those that have been married for like 20, 30 years, when one, when the woman dies, they are unable to imagine life without <coughs> just that. That is just no life. So they tend to the children because they want you to be alive. They say the children should marry, give give him, give him a yeah, give him a woman young. that a small woman that will be cooking and be taking care of the house. Yeah. So it's not really about other matters in the other room. It's more about somebody that will just Complain. be checking on. Checking on her and taking care, I'm checking on him and taking care of him. But we've had women on the other side successfully take care of their children and live long. You see, a man will die at 50s, the woman is still alive at 80. Mm. And, or you see the woman 90 and they say, ah, How long has she been widowed? And she say, Ah, 30 years ago, my husband died, but I call glory to God, I'll be taking care of my children and taking care of my <laughs> grandchildren. So, because the people have not seen the need for a woman to have companionship outside her children. They feel that they are caring for the man by letting him have companionship. But they think the woman's companion should be her children. An 80-year-old person can fall in love and find companionship with a 90-year-old oh, man. Please, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, leave that matter. Leave that matter. Leave that very old, she was in her 60s and fell in love with a man in 70s. Yeah, see Mama Aka now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Maya's mom. Oh, really? See Mama Aka now, she's Mama 74. Mama okay. She's, uh, you see she's married to Jesus. You are selfish. <laughs> she's married to Jesus. Mariah she has no business. You know that the truth is that aside from, what, what we now do is, that's what it, they do. Um, our mothers in their 70s or in their 60s, when they are single, or they, they've lost their husband, married to Jesus. But they have physical needs, they have emotional uh, needs. She doesn't have physical she needs. Wants to she wants to massage her No, 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 she doesn't have physical so needs. So she's a maid of massage. She has emotional needs that her children Satan are meeting. Satan, leave me alone. She doesn't have married to <laughs> Jesus. Listen, listen. So, uh, for me, um, what I realize, coming from my area, mm. I, yeah. what I see more is even the young women fighting their mothers for marrying, not the men. So I, I don't want to put it on the men. Mm. It depends on the family. Sometimes it's the girls that say, mommy, you don't need to remarry and all of that. And the people who fight more for their mothers not to remarry are those who are from wealthy homes. So they, they believe that when the woman marries, she's going to transfer the wealth that she's inherited from her husband to start taking care of the boy that she probably is married to. Because sometimes when a woman who has wealth... That sounds like Nollywood. No, that sounds like no, Nollywood. I'm talking from my place now. I did not okay. grow up with you, so calm down. <laughs> so when a woman... Um, most times what I see is when a woman who has money right. loses a husband, right. she doesn't marry at that level of the husband she's lost mm. most of the times. What asks a young boy. What People, asks the young yes. boys always, yes, he's always someone younger. And then, you know women, and when they're in love, they focus their attention, they take their attention away from the children to the man who is now running things. And sometimes they neglect the children. So at that point, you see the children say, mm, we don't think mommy needs to marry. But you see those ones that are poor, the woman is in the, um, not independent, she's dependent on somebody and a man comes that wants to help your case to send you to school and take over the responsibilities. They don't quarrel though, because they need a man to help them live their lives. Mm. So they're not in that space. Meanwhile, those women who are independent, self-sufficient, they have money, most times they don't think about remarrying mm. because they are focused with work and raising their children. I think a woman who is widowed at 30, 40s, yeah, I mean, you can remarry she wants early to. 50s. You can still, because your children are still growing up. Uh, and you just want them to have that close, that family male circle, figure. that male figure influence in, on their, in their life. So I can understand that. But once you mark that, you pass that 60, 65, 70, mm. 
your children are not, they're not babies anymore. Mm -hmm. They're adults. Mm -hmm. and I think that's where they need your guidance what and your counseling. They need your, they need that role modeling for you. They want, they want to see you, they, your prayers are required. Mm -hmm. Your guidance, your mm -hmm. counseling is what they need. Mm -hmm. Not you bringing another, so remarry, but one baba now come again and counseling. then to come. Sometimes, you see, sometimes when you bring the baba to come or the, the, maybe the boyfriend or the whatever, the mother, in some cases, he's a good influence. Okay. He could, maybe he's a wealthy one and he can even support and everything. It's fine, it makes your mom happy. But the idea of having another, not another man mm. start coming to your mother's room. Mm. Ah, I because don't your mother is not a human being. No, no, no. Your mother, mother, my mother is not a human blood being. flowing no. through well, her veins. Your mother is Jesus' she's baby. She's 17. Mm. Reason, the real They've reason. closed shop in that place. Who so told they don't you? close shop there. The real uh, that reason, place don't close shop. <laughs> the real reason for marriage, aside from number one reason, of course, to procreate and raise children, is to be to have a companion. Mm. And at the end of the day, when you really need that companionship, is when your children are gone. Yes. Your your the the sole responsibility of a parent is not just being that taking care of the children, mm -hmm. because really, at the end of the day, those women are the ones that now become. Pay, um, mother in laws that are like stepmothers in the house mm. because they, they don't have any other thing. You are their only project. They've spent their entire life investing in you, so they want to micromanage what is happening in your house. For me, I think we should encourage women moving, moving on in life, finding love, mm. um, growing, expressing themselves in every way possible. I also think that we shouldn't be unfair because I've heard many people say, if my, husband, if my father dies or her, if my, if, my, if my mom dies, immediately I'll quickly arrange somebody. Mm. And when it's flipped, they will say, lie, mm. lie. Mother cannot... should just take care of me and my children. That's selfish. And that's the way we have, we've, we've raised ourselves. It shouldn't be. So you so, see, so, wait, 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 let me, let me, yes. let me, I'll come to you busy now. This is your fine mommy as she is now. Mm. You now let one person start saying, yeah, start holding your mommy, touch my your mommy. Don't start understand. saying, ah, she should not touch your mommy. You should be calling my mommy, my dear. I will slap, I will slap in the face. Not now, because yeah. that is yeah. still alive and well, and you'll be yeah. alive and well for many more if, years. No, I, my, 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 my father I, is dead, and mm -hmm, my father is dead. I'm, but if, like, okay, let's use my mom, because my father is dead anyway. Uh, if a man comes to me and says he wants to date my mom. And your mother wants to date the man, what will happen? If the man is poor. My mom will never say that. Why? Right, because if she's maybe, married to Jesus. Maybe in church, <laughs> what if she finds one 79 year old man or 79 year old man? Who? That falls 79 or 75 year old man in church. I said, Baba, go and meet your own children. With, spraying with her, talking to her, connecting with her on a level because there's some conversations that you don't have capacity to have with, with her. Your you are in your 40s, she's in her 70s. Mm -hmm. She cannot, you, you, you don't understand what she's going through, what she's thinking about, what she's dreaming about, or maybe, ah, this bone is paining me, all of that. The person that will say, ah, this is what you should use for that. There's need for that companionship. And it you shouldn't see. be limited to age. Lovers? Yeah. And those that just say, you know what? Loners. Okay. Yeah. Like even when they were married, so let me say, do you have time for the Loretta, are you there? <laughs> Hi, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for calling, Loretta. Yeah, I'm a first time caller. Welcome, Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. So, um, I want to talk in particular to Moraya because um, I've had this experience where. Um, my parents are divorced. They're not. Um, it's not a widowed situation, but this is the situation. The man, it, um, my dad had been remarried for years and years, and even had kids afterwards. And you know, she just kept going on and going on, and without anyone else and all that. And I remember so many years back, some, um, some my friends kept pushing me to tell your mother to date. And I kept saying, no, 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 she can't date. No, mm. she's a quick thing. No, you know, she doesn't do stuff like that and stuff mm. like that. Yeah, yeah. So you know what? And you you. My mother is a bit older now. And then she started getting ill and all that. And then mm. all the responsibility now fell back to us. Mm. And sometimes I cannot help but regret that Not I didn't... Her marry. Yeah, I didn't push her to oh. live her life because... You know, there's a bit of depression that um, goes on with that. When you see somebody else has moved on, and you just keep, you know, living your life, thinking that, you know, maybe he will come back, or just, you know, just thinking that you can right. go on like that. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs companionship, so yeah. please. Anyone who wants to marry, if you want to be a little bit, you know, marry 100 times, feel free. 